Can you all see my iPad screen? And do you have iPads with you this afternoon? Brilliant. Okay. This afternoon, um, I mean, I'm I'm a, just a, a genuine year, you know, a normal year five teacher. Um, I don't pretend to be uh, an expert. Um, I've just picked up ideas and tips over the last five years of teaching. Um, and I'm just going to show you tonight basically apps that I've used and that I use um, in my classroom. Um, I've seen them used elsewhere and I've also tried and tested them. And for me, these really work. And I think, you know, the whole point of tonight's session is just to give you a bit of an idea as to what apps um, you could possibly use in your classroom. Um, obviously, some things may work for you, some things may not. Are you... Um, predominantly key stage one, key stage two or foundation type teachers if you just type in a box because what I'll try and do is just give you a range of apps, key stage two, Vicky, lovely year one, year two, poor, brilliant, both, okay um, have you got, have you got any experience with apps, have you used many apps um, in your classrooms or is this uh, like a, an introduction for all of you or do you have some experience already you just type in a box You have a little bit? Okay. Very little, Paul. Okay, no problem. Yeah, Vicky, that's fine. I mean, our, we use our iPads for research as well. Okay, well, we'll get going. I'll show you um, a few apps. Now, what I tend to do is I'll show you an app and then let you have an opportunity to either download it or have a play with it um, and so you get on. Uh, there will be a sort of pause in between each one. If they're a free app and you want to download it, you can do that and have a go. Okay, the first app I'm going to show you is an app called Telegamy. Now, this is a free app, um, and I've used this from foundation right up to year six. It's a free app, and basically what it allows you to do is create a, sort of an avatar or a character. Now, I've used it to support my delivery of a lesson, but I've also let the children uh, use this app to... Um, when they presented sort of done research and then presented it back to the class what you can do is you create your own character you can you know dress the character and make it male or female you can give it a top give it hair whatever um, but once you've created your character what you can then do is record a message so you have up to 30 seconds to record some sort of audio message so for example I've used it to deliver um, the learning objective uh, we've used it to deliver like we say, research that the children have created. And for those children who often struggle to maybe stand up and present in front of a class, especially in Key Stage 2, they like this app because they can sort of pre-record it and it's a fun way of delivering that information. Now, like I say, it is a free app. Um, I don't know, have any of you used this app before or seen this app before? No? No? Well, as it's a free app, if you want to have a go at downloading it, I'll type in, well, I'll leave it on there, actually. I'll bring it up. It's called Telegamy, okay? T-E-O-O-A-G-M-I. Have a little go. Have a little play. Um, it's a nice app to get started because, like I say, it is free, and you can use it across a whole range of sort of subjects. Are you willing to have a go and download that one? Are any of you going to give it a try? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you literally two minutes just to have a go, see if you can download it, um, see what you think. But like I say, I, you can use it across all the years, really, um, and it's very, very simple to use. But with the iPad, once they've created their avatar and they've created um, sort of a, a thirty-minute audio clip, you can then save it. You can it actually automatically saves to the iPad. Um, and then you can import it into a range of, uh, of different apps from that, which I'll show you later on. Okay, if you want two minutes, just, uh, just type in a box that you want two minutes to have a go, because I don't want to go too quickly or, or too slowly for you, since there's such a, a small group. If you're ready at any point for me to carry on, just type ready, and once we're all together, we'll then move on. This is very much about me giving you ideas um, and seeing, seeing what you think. Okay, Paul, I'll give you a couple of minutes just to have a play with that. And like I said, as soon as you're ready, just click, click ready. If you have any questions at all about any of these apps as well, just type in the box, and I'll do my best to, to answer them. 
um, I'll, while you're looking, I'll just show you um, how you can use the app. So if you click on message, when, you, when you've got your avatar up, you literally click on message, you click on voice, and then you can record, like I say, it's for up to 30 seconds. Um, the free app, the free version, which is what you're downloading, um, it only gives you the 30 seconds. If you pay for the additional extras, then obviously that, that will give you longer time and you'll get a lot more outfits that you can choose from. Not only can you um, create your character, you can actually choose a background. So if you were, if you were um, in a classroom environment for whatever or, or wherever you were, if you were doing it, uh, if you were out and about using the iPads, you could take a picture of the backdrop and then import that in. Are you happy with that? Are you ready to move on? Have you downloaded it? What are your thoughts? Ready? Yeah. Ready? Okay. Brilliant. Okay. The next app I'm going to show you, again, I've used from lower key stage two right up. You could use this for key stage one. It's an app called Poplet. Uh, actually, it's called Poplet Lite. This is a free app. Um, this app, again, allows you to create big mind maps. So, I mean, the traditional way would be of doing this on a whiteboard or on flip chart paper in front of the class or getting the kids to do it. Um, in their books if you're starting a new topic or you're, you've got a new concept that they're learning about. However, this app allows you to do it on the iPads so they could all, if they had, if you had enough iPads for maybe one between two, or if you're lucky enough to have them per child, um, they can create their mind maps on here. It's very, very simple to do, okay? And then they can see it grow and grow and grow. And then you can pick, take a picture of it so you can actually take a picture of the mind map that you've created. And again, you can either choose to print it out to stick that into their books, or you can import it into uh, another program. Um, let's say my children use it. If they're creating a, a presentation on a certain topic, they're using one of the, um, the whiteboard apps. They then drop this in at the start, so you can see the progress of learning throughout the topic if they're creating it on the iPads. Again, it's called Poplet Lights. There is the main Poplet app, um, which I think is something like £1.99. But Poplet Light is a free app, and it is very useful for creating mind maps. Are you going to have a go at downloading that one? What are your thoughts on, on that app? Or do you have any questions at all? Brilliant. Okay, Vicky, no problem at all. Okay, Natalie, no worries. Okay, Paul, again, it's a free app. It's a quirky little app, one that you could use um, in a range of sort of situations. I've used it for science. I've used it for topic. Um, we haven't used it so much for maths, but for literacy in terms of creating word banks and ideas, it, it's been very successful. But again, I think, you know, just take what I'm saying as an idea because I think people use these apps in different ways. Certainly, it's an app that's worked well for me. Um, and it would be obviously up to yourself to see see whether it fits into what you do in your classrooms. I'll let you just have a, a moment to have a little look uh, and have a feel for the app. Again, once you are.